Welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last episode, we caught D Vasquez with her pants down. Figuratively. And yeah. we figured out that she killed. Well, she says that she had the possibility of killing Mr. Hammer, even though we know she did it, so we just gotta push her until she confesses. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do right now. Okay. I was with Salad Old Bag, the security lady, but we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, and Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, sh she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived at the scene. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Dead silent. Dead silent. <laughs> hey, hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to line things up. Not now, Maya. Why is there a magic trick? <laughs> hey, kids want to see a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this whole. Alright. So old bag was fit to throw him under the bus. She has to be left out. Why though? You asked to be left out? This is a crime lady. Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. Now I'm not really fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in the meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you? Or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot riding on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't Require question. The script in your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't. It would do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? 
Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. But she didn't know about the murder after she went to see you on. Yeah, very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. Oh. Your Honor! He'll point it out. <laughs> I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Thank you, Edward. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there would there would be, wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to have known about the murder before going to Studio One. Yeah, that's quite fun. Like, duh. <laughs> Edward the goat. He's a goat. Bear. Order, order. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. What, I, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will, I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Character development. Wow. Huh. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had perfectly good reason to believe that there would be no rehearsal. Huh. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew Hamlet was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Yeah. Sal. He told me. Sal the director. Hmm. You have to find something that picks this on her here? Everything we've done till now... Oh gosh. Well, I've been wasted! I believe in you, Nick! Go get him! This is how Sal told him that Howard is injured. Oh, it hmm. says Hammer was injured. Powers was injured. Yeah, okay, there we go, good eye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Inward. Yeah, so... Under uh, change. What did that it picture. be? The picture? Rachel falls. Or the spear. Oh. This picture of him dragging his leg? The picture of him falling. Falling? He broke his leg. Mm -hmm. I don't have a picture of him breaking his leg. Then the spear, then. That was not it. Right. Then the dragging the foot, then. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be careful now because we're getting pretty, uh. Oh, frick the system. <laughs> there we go. It's, yeah, it was the picture of him dying. It's like, you knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? What? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. 
But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now why do you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it. That it was Sal who told me. That's right, he must have got it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was right was at the run through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Power who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez? Why? Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer living with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Oh. And when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And then you killed him. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order, order. I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? Mm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, bitch. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Very well. I have a question for you. Ah, why are the real killers always so persistent? Do you want to die? <laughs> Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen hot on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Huh. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would you have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove that she had a motive? I can. Okay. I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence of Ms. Vasquez's motive in this murder. Yo, da, ti, damn, maybe I... Uh, yeah. I think... Here we go. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Mm. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the rug. Carpet. Whatever. Rug. Carpet rug. Tomato tomato. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident pre precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. I realized my necklace was way too close to my microphone. Okay. It was rubbing against it, so sorry. Yeah, that's right, I probably didn't pick anything up. Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. 
Yes, undoubtedly it was a const constant source of shame for the X-Star. Huh. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you only have yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. Yes. It almost seems as if as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed De Vasquez. Not the only way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Because that's not Miss Vasquez. That's Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. According to what you say. I would have no reason to kill him. He was a good source of income for me. And I'd never get rid of a useful bed. It's policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. Uh, you mean she didn't really have a motive, I guess? Yeah. But. Uh, it was just self defense. <laughs> She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs. In self-defense! What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then, Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill De Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him for all those years. So, you did it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. It was me. I created the power of cross. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> Someone call an ambulance. There's blood everywhere. We're all doomed! We're too late. Ah! Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. I have no idea who's talking, so I'm just gonna talk for everybody. Manuel! Okay. Manuel! Emmanuel! <laughs> Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No! No, how could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene in... No, Manuel. Manuel. Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! No. Please. Please don't die. Please. Who else will I have you. ice cream with? No. <laughs> I loved him. Congratulations, Mr. Roy. I thank you. I lose again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's De Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and as collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. Hey, thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was what? innocent. That it should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds a defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not Goodness. guilty, baby! Yeah! Kinda unsure at some moments, but we pull through. Yeah. That is all. This court is adjourned. Hey, party. Party! 
Yeah, baby. I won. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dancer, you're fired. No. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume, but it's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Tell me! I... well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... You were the Steel Samurai. Yeah, maybe- should I show him the scrapbook? Yes. It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show. And as the villain to boot, the kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him at any time. Communication is key! I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? Oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more! I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and- hmm. Is something wrong? No, of course not! Ah. Nick Edgeworth! Say something, right? Something. <laughs> I'm not good at small talk. I love huh? it. What? <laughs> um. That was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No. I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if she hadn't stepped in. If you haven't stepped in. Oh, if you hadn't stepped in. Ah. <laughs> uh, Pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> Alright, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar! Right? I must say, I hadn't expected you to meet a I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect it would have been better had we not met. Next to you, I'm saddled. Unnecessary feelings. <laughs> Everyone loves that line. From <laughs> unnecessary. Because it's kind of gay. Feelings? <laughs> yes. Unease and uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Like whether or not I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Mr. Phoenix, right? Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's, That's what I came here to tell you. Not a promise. Uh, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if... They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? For now we are. I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me! What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Did you it like all started each other? <laughs> when I was five. <laughs> and so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kid shows again. Oh. Pink Princessy. Nick! 
This is it! The new show starts today! Ugh, I need to swallow. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. Didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. Yeah. You have to buy the new trading cards too, okay? You have to trade with Cody and the assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? Huh? Yeah. He gets to play, girl. I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real world powers. The end. Yay. Finally, we're done with this freaking chapter. I'm still busy, so we probably won't be able to do much. <laughs> but at least we're on the last episode. Yeah. Turn about goodbyes. But yeah, we did it. We finished this episode. Now we'll be moving on to episode 4 and the next part. Whenever that gets uploaded. <laughs> Being an adult sucks. Life is uncertain. Sometimes you just gotta pro through the punches. Yep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part and we'll see you guys next time. Next time. Next time. Goodbye. Bye.